Hey peeps! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jordan. I'm a licensed yoga instructor and massage therapist. And today we're I'm gonna be taking well, blah, blah, blah. doesn't fail every video. <laughs> today I'm gonna be taking you guys around my vibe, sanctuary, chill room, and my new altar, which I finally decorated after having it like up and like ready to go for like like two months, three months. Um, this room itself, the reason why I'm so excited is because this room has been a long time coming. Um, for a long time, or basically my whole life, I've never had like an office, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a whole room for me to like not just sleep in, but like to actually have for like activities. So not only just to like have like the physical space to like be able to do yoga and like to kind of hoop around a little bit, um, but it's just, it's so nice to have like a space where I feel like I can like manifest and like have my altar and have all my books and like space to like lay flat out on the freaking floor. It's just so great and I'm just so grateful for the space and I'm really really excited to show you so let's just like let me just stop let's go ahead and get right into it. Right, so this is my living room, and this is what it looks like when you enter. I know, hella obnoxious. But when you look to your left, there's the door to our mud room and my little Animal Crossing backpack here. I love this wall. My peace lilies are looking so sad right now. Um, <laughs> I can explain. My friend Alyssa completely reminded me I need to like give dark corner um, plants, plant food. So I just gave her plant food today. So hopefully she'll be feeling better. Hi. <laughs> I have all my pictures here. And then that was from my yoga teacher training in 2017. I realized I don't have like any photo evidence of that like printed. So I printed that recently. And yeah, I feel like this wall just looks really cute. I recently just put this together. Another really small life event that has recently happened, and I say small so I don't start crying, is my family. <laughs> oh, my f I'm gonna sit down. Okay, hold on. My family recently moved to Florida <laughs> unexpectedly. So I got a bunch of the stuff from my parents' house, like all those frames. I don't even know where, where my mother got those. They were like all in a box at my parents' house though. So now they're here and I've, I'll show you guys a few more awesome things that came from my parents' house because some of them actually like come from my childhood and that's really cute. And also a lot of this is recycled. So <laughs> anyways, back to the tour, sorry. So yeah, I got like little hooks, forgot my yoga mat, purse, hoop, like got some moss sticks, you know. I guess the best part about this room tour too is like I can give you guys like a little tour and I clean up for my work week tomorrow because the past two days have been like my little weekend. My weekends are on Mondays and Tuesdays. So yeah, so this is the remnants of my pranayama yoga teacher training. This little, this is like, I think my favorite part of the whole space because while we still had our roommate and like this room was their bedroom, it's a very, it's ranch style, long and narrow. And we have no other room where I can lie flat on my back and like actually like yoga. And I can yoga here. Ugh, like I'm just so happy about it. And then of course I have my beautiful, one of my Monstera family plants. Um, this is the mini Monstera. I just love it here. I can just like do, I can do everything I need to, which is just like this. I can just do, I can just do this. All right. And if we come a little bit closer, you guys will see my little, the OG crystal basket that I keep over there. Um, I keep my little desk, mini desk thing behind it. But this black thing I actually found on the side of the road. <laughs> my neighbors left it and I'm pretty sure it used to be like a CD or a DVD holder. But I ended up just, I wanted to have like a little mini bookshelf for like my yoga books. And I've been doing some chakra work recently. Yoga journal, I think I did a tour on that. Yep, and then my straps and all my blocks. I'm a restorative and yin yoga girl. You know I need all my props, blanket, and a bolster I'm sitting on right now. <laughs> this is my lucky bamboo I had to save. 
I can't even go into that right now, honestly. Um, another yoga book. And then this basket, guys, I have, as a yoga teacher and, you know, just like into the holistic stuff, I've been gifted like so many essential oils, especially because I would use them in my yoga classes. And I found this basket at Goodwill. This is also like, for some reason, a highlight of this room for me is like my little essential oil basket. I love this thing so much. It's just, it's so cute to me. I don't know. Welcome to my altar. Isn't she so cute? Yes. I'm just really proud of this, guys. Like, this is also the first time I've, like, set set it up. Um, I know this guy kind of sucks. I actually got this at Goodwill with the intention of, like, painting, like, some sigils type. Um, I'm really into the four elements, so that's what I was thinking. And I really um, incorporate those into, like, my vibe energy work that I do. So... Yeah, that's been a work in progress, but I really want to hand paint them specifically. So I need to get some paint. Oh. <clears throat> All right, guys, not gonna lie. I don't even know if you can see me right now. Getting you over here was like really freaking difficult, man. My tripod is trash. Yeah, let me show you guys my new decks. Um, thank you guys so much for visiting. I'm really gonna start reading like this video in case you want to see it. Ask. Oh my gosh, hold on, Damari's FaceTiming me. Don't you love when your boyfriend FaceTimes you in the middle of your video and then you accidentally delete the thing that you just recorded, but then when you call him back, he's like, never mind, I'll talk to you when you get home and your tripod's broken. Into okay, so anyways, um, I was deconstructing my altar to show you guys my beautiful new cards. Um, so this is my Druid Oracle deck. Um, I recently had a past life reading from Psychic Sid and she, apparently I was a Druid in a past life. So, and I just really connected with that, um, especially because although Druids were men, they had like super long hair, which I just like, she mentioned my, like my long hair is like very important to me, which it is. This is my Hidden World Oracle deck. I'm literally obsessed. Because the past years, I've been so focused on mastering the tarot that I just haven't like expanded on decks and I just really want to do that more. So these are my cards over here. Have my tarot journal deck. And then today, actually, I just bought these very beautiful, also very inexpensive journals from Barnes & Noble today. And those are going to be for my Drew deck and my Hidden um, Worlds deck. And then, of course, we have offerings. I don't know. I found this leaf today on my walk, and I thought it was cool. I thought my grandma would like it. Yeah. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> this is my reading corner. I'm actually super, like, I love this corner so much. I got this pillow from Target and this blanket because I actually really hate leather. But my boyfriend has had this, like, couch chair forever. And we can't really get it out of our house that easy. And honestly, it's pretty comfy because it's so worn. It's just cold. So yeah, this is where I get my reading on. I've got my bookshelf that I actually just organized today. I actually put all the books I want to read in the next year. So and then I have all the books I've already read and like just like refer back to down there. And oh, see, and I can turn on my little lamp. Got this lamp off of Let Go when let go was let go now it's off or up i think but i love this lamp it's very heavy it's very bulky and it's very the counterweight's bizarre but i i'm obsessed with it 
And yes, I do hit my head on it when I stand up, but when I'm, it's like, it's, this is worth it. This is so nice to read under. I can like see everything, I can journal. I just love the space. <laughs> All right, so here we've kind of reached the kind of like underwhelming side of the room. Uh, do my mood and habit tracking here. Get my weekly planner going over here. I also keep all my journaling notebooks, all my past schooling stuff, like my massage therapy notes and like anatomy and class notes and all that stuff, all very nicely organized underneath. And I have my laptop, which I never use because I have a computer that I carry in my pocket. But you know, it's nice to have a desktop sometimes. So yeah, workspace, not that entertaining. Over to the left here. All right, that took me a minute. Okay, so over here, like I use the desk kind of chair area to conceal like the junk corner because you need a junk corner. Got a vacuum, my massage table, that's huge. And I'm even so stoked I was able to even have it like remotely out of the way and not being too ugly. And then a bunch of weights and workout gear for my mom's, you know, the whole Florida thing. Got this at Goodwill, which is sick. I got that for like 10 bucks. And then this was one of the paintings from my mom's house. We have a matching one in the living room or in the kitchen. Uh, she almost gave these away to Goodwill and I screamed because I remember being a kid and being like, you cannot ever throw these away. Like I, I need them for my house. So luckily I was able to grab them in time, but the artist is Carol Gregg. I just really, I've always loved these. We used to have them in our dining room at my parents' house growing up. So yeah, <laughs> that's that little corner. And then here, Hey friends. So here I can like work out, but I pimped the hell out of this mirror with some fake like foliage. Um, I had like a metal, like, I think that was an incense holder, like evil eye I thought I could hang on there just to meditate protection. It's honestly selfie mirror to the max. I love this mirror, it is beautiful. And yeah. concludes my vibe room altar like space <laughs> tour uh, I hope it inspired you guys to do something really funky with whatever space that you have or to hopefully manifest something like this one day I feel incredibly blessed uh, I wanted to show you guys at night so you could really like catch like the vibe and thanks so much for being here make sure to candle make sure to like and subscribe and yeah i'll be back